industry is in a state of flux on the floor of the Detroit Auto Show as the newest vehicle designs were rolled out. Today, as industry insiders, motorheads, and even politicians took in the sights. And it was a different kind of Ford that rolled into the Detroit Auto Show today. Premier Doug Ford arrived. He worked the room. He also spoke with members of the media. Ford also says he spoke with General Motors and remains hopeful something can be done to save the plant in Oshawa. Now, he also says he's cutting regulations for manufacturers and his ideas allegedly are being well received. We want to make sure that we have a stable work environment, a work environment that people can thrive and prosper. What I've been hearing uh, when I've been visiting all the automotive manufacturers here, they're encouraged with our new government, the new policies, and how quickly we're moving in the last six months. Ford also met with Unifor President Jerry Diaz in Detroit today. On Friday, GM workers from Oshawa made the trip to Windsor, where they protested the plant's pending closure. Diaz, who has been critical of the Premier's alleged lack of action following GM's announcement in December, changed his tune when it comes to Ford today. The meeting today with the Premier was an opportunity for us to really say to the Premier, listen, here's why we have taken the position we have. Here's why we are not throwing in the towel. And the Premier listened and we understood when we showed him the language that we signed with General Motors that said there would be no closures during the life of the agreement. The Premier understood the history of our relationship with General Motors. And I was quite pleased when he said that he would roll up his sleeves and in his meetings that he was to have with General Motors, he would be very aggressive in having them change their position. General Motors has said on multiple occasions that the closure of the Oshawa plant is a done deal. Diaz says not so quickly. They're planning more job action. He says they have something up their sleeves tomorrow, though he wouldn't elaborate. 